Welcome back and new at 11, waterproof, long lasting, smudge proof. The same qualities you look for in your makeup could be hazardous to your health. Well, tonight I take a closer look at why some makeup artists are calling out the beauty industry for concealing toxic ingredients. The beauty industry is just terrible. And <laughs> this is like, but like you're I mean saying. it because I love my effect that it has on women. When a woman feels beautiful, she can conquer anything. Making women look as good as they feel has been Alison Hoag's passion for 30 years as a makeup artist. And when it comes to what she puts on her client, Hoag has done her homework. I take every ingredient and put it through the cosmetic database to read it for its toxicity. But in all that data, it was what she couldn't find that was shocking. I couldn't even tell you if my stuff has that ingredient in it. And that holds true for anyone. And you are very well versed, very well <clears throat> educated on looking for toxins yes. in makeup. Yes. And if you can't find it, how is anybody else supposed that's, to find it? That's the insanity of this. What is it? PFAS, or per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, man-made forever chemicals, because they can take thousands of years to degrade. PFAS are so common, they're used in nonstick pots and pans, cell phones, furniture, airplanes, and makeup. You want them to be high performance, of course, but who's to say that it has to be done with this chemical? Uh, if I could get a similar performance from ones that didn't have these toxic chemicals, wouldn't that be better? It was here in this lab at the University of Notre Dame that Professor Graham Peasley recently led a team of researchers who studied the levels of PFAS in makeup. Researchers tested more than 200 products made by 64 retail and makeup brands. The highest levels of PFAS were found in products that had the most durability and didn't smudge, like waterproof mascara, foundation, and liquid lipstick. And the ones that said, you know, water resistant or the ones that said long lasting, there was a very high percentage of those, you know, 14 out of 15 or, or six out of seven that were uh, highly uh, had PFAS, high, high levels of PFAS. Most of the products tested, about 88%, did not list the chemicals as ingredients. And that means you might not have any idea what you're putting on your skin. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Or how long it stays in your body. You would like to see labeling on products, so at least you know what's in there? Oh, absolutely, yes. I showed these women in Atlanta the list of makeup brands tested. Oh, wow, that's a long list. At least I'm informed and... Um, if I care about that or not, that's my decision. We don't take into consideration because we're so like, oh, I'm pretty, what we're putting on our faces or what we're doing ter terrible to ourselves to become beautiful, right? At what cost? At what cost? Hogue yeah. would like to see legislation regulating labeling on makeup so at least you can make an informed decision about what you put on your face. In my mind, I thought I was doing a safe makeup application and I can't be sure that it is after the information that I've learned. Right now, several U.S. senators are backing a bill to ban intentionally added PFAS in cosmetics. Now, PFAS, they're everywhere, but to limit your exposure, you can avoid long-lasting water-resistant makeup. Again, eye makeup, lipstick, and foundation that are long-lasting. We did post a link to the study on our website, along with a full list of all the makeup brands that have been tested.